Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. On a monitor, all images must be displayed in pixels on screen. So before we can manipulate the images, we must learn more about how pixels are displayed and measured. When an image is displayed on your monitor, it's rendered according to the pixel dimensions of the graphic and the display settings and size of your monitor. The image's pixel dimensions are the width and height of the image in pixels. The number of pixels displayed in an image is measured in pixels per inch or PPI. Generally speaking, the higher the PPI, the higher the quality of the image. The digital size of an image, usually measured in kilobytes, megabytes, or even gigabytes, is proportional to the pixel dimensions of an image. Images with a higher PPI may have a higher resolution and may produce greater detail when printed, but they may also print more slowly and take more disk space for storage. Elements supports a maximum pixel dimension setting of 30,000 by 30,000 pixels per inch. You can make adjustments to the size of an image by using the image size dialog box. You access this dialog box by selecting image, resize, and image size from the menu bar. So we'll go to image, then we'll go down to resize, and then over to image size. In this dialog box, you can select how it should resample images when the size of the image changes. When you increase the size of an image, you actually add new pixels to the image. These new pixels will be added to the image based on the color values of existing pixels in the image. Make sure to check the Constrain Proportions checkbox. That's located right here. You want to make sure that's checked. What this will do is this will automatically change the height or width of your image as you change the other one while keeping your image in proportion. Otherwise, you might end up with a warped image. You specify what's called the interpolation method using the drop down next to the resample image checkbox here in this dialog box right here. You can generally resample down and not lose image quality. However, resampling up or adding pixels can often result in an image that's a bit blurry. As far as methods of interpolation go, you have a few choices. You can select nearest neighbor, which is fast but of less quality than the other choices. You can also select by linear, which results in a medium quality image. Use by cubic, which is the default, for a slow but more precise method. You can also set the bicubic resampling to favor producing a smoother or sharper image by selecting either bicubic smoother or bicubic sharper. When you have your settings in place, then you click OK. So if we want to change this image and just sample it down, let's say to 2, because we had constrained proportions checked, it automatically adjusted our height for us. We click OK and it will resize our image appropriately. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.